with Gotham Knights on the way soon. With Suicide Squad on the way soon. Oh, 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 wow. Well, with the fresh and new leak of the entire The Batman movie, I just decided to go back and play the Arkham games just to see if they held up nowadays. So everyone get your favorite psychopathic clowns and dead parents ready, and let's go. So before we break all the games up and talk about them separately, let's talk about the things all the games share. So as you know, you can play all four of these games in three different ways. One, like a shadow of the dark, unsuspecting to the enemies you're taking down. But sometimes this may lead to number two, like an absolute meathead, rushing everything down with your bare fists and non-existent intellect. Playing this way the entire game will likely get you killed, but at the end of the day, it's Batman. Who cares? But there is one last secret way to play these games. And that's like Batman and the Peacekeeper show. Ignoring all the murders, kidnappings, and spending all your time collecting the Riddler trophies. But now that we're finished with that, let's break down the games separately, going off of their release dates. So let's start with... My dear delusional Dark Knight. It hasn't even begun. <laughs> So while being the series, it is obviously a step down from the older games, but this game really isn't bad at all. While there isn't much free roam and the combat definitely is as it is in the later games, the game is still really good and enjoyable on its own. It's a great start to the Arkham series and aged really well for the time it had been created. It's also one of the few games that you can experience one of the most traumatic things in your life and hear one of the most nonchalant chimes ever. But to end this segment off overall, this game is just really good. A great start to the series and will forever be the second best and most influential game in the series ever. Now the next game we have is... So, you know my name. Good. Because I know everything about you. Your darkest secret. Your ultimate weakness. I know you are. Bruce now this objectively is the best game in the series. Well, no. This is undeniably the best game in the series. This game is so great and pretty much peaks in everything that the, pa that the past game did. The free roam is great. The story is one of the best things to drop yet. There are tons of gadgets to use. The combat and stealth sections feel fluid. And the overall game is just so enjoyable. But this game literally only has one singular problem though, is that the, and that is that they made Nightwing look like a sleep paralysis demon who haunts my nightmares at 3 a.m. And I will never forgive the people at Rocksteady for doing this thing. But other than that, they nailed everything, even the most important char part of character trait of the entire character. That makes no sense, but no one should ever complain about it. Which is weird, but you know it happens. Come on, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know dang well ain't nobody play Arkham Origins, man. That's just, oh my. And now we move on to the most under, the most debatable game in the franchise yet. This game is either considered the worst in the franchise or one of the best to drop yet, depending on the person that you ask. In my opinion, the game is pretty, ah at best like don't get me wrong the game is great like the combat is the most fluid it's ever been and there's so many characters and new things to try out but there are a few big problems with the game like how predictable the story is my first run through of the game blind i pretty much instantly guessed who the main antag was because it was just so easy to figure out and it's not even hidden from you at all like the story was still enjoyable aside from maybe one thing and that's the bad the batmobile missions I hate the Batmobile missions. The, it's so poorly created and so unfun to use. Who thought this was a good idea? 
and it's not even like they're just oh it's a few areas that you go to it's literally everywhere in the 